What's up everybody and welcome back. Uh, I figured that I would do an unboxing and setup video for the FlightScope Mevo Plus. I've been doing some beta testing uh, with the Mevo Plus and uh, the unit that I was using to beta test, we actually sent back so they could collect uh, some information from that, swapped it out with another one um, that we're going to be using moving forward to do more of that testing and uh, videos as you'll see on the channel. And I figured why not take it from step number one, unboxing the Mevo Plus uh, and setting up the Mevo Plus. That way everyone could understand uh, if they have you know any questions regarding the matter or how to do it right out of the box, we could show that. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and cut open the box here. Obviously, nicely packaged just for the size. Here we go. Cool. So this is a brand new unit with the saran wrap on it. All right. So, Evo Plus, practice with purpose. Performance data you can trust. FlightScope technology is developed to offer you performance data you can trust in your pursuit of excellence. Signed, Henry Johnson, founder and CEO of FlightScope. Very cool. Uh, packaging is uh, top notch. I mean, the box, box quality is fantastic. Um, obviously, everything fits real well the way that they send it out. Uh, pretty cool little ribbon here for probably be up pulling that out like that so we'll put that aside we'll uh, open this up get our scissors out of the way all right so comes with your e6 connect standard license for uh, ios if you have an apple device five courses 17 practice ranges one mode of play online events and mini games just search E6 Connect in the App Store, which looks like they have a little QR code for that and uh, shows your product key right there. So, um, and then obviously looking for more, subscribe for access to more courses and mini games and modes of play. Gives you a simple list of instructions on how to set that up. Uh, connect your iPad or iPhone to the FlightScope via Wi Fi. Select FlightScope in the Wi Fi menu. Enter the FlightScope password, which is Mevo Plus, the serial code, uh, where the, or the Mevo Plus serial number is what I should say. It says serial code. Um, it's a little confusing. You need to leave the FS off the front. You just use uh, the M2 and the numbers. A um, little bit of confusion from people there, but uh, not too bad. And you launch the E6 Connect app, sign up, redeem, scan the QR code. Real simple instructions there on how to do that. We have a quick start guide here. Uh, for the Mevo Plus itself. Uh, just shows you to download the FS Golf app, scan the QR code, and launch the app. Uh, charging, uh, very important here. Uh, you need to use the supplied block and cable uh, when charging or powering your unit. Uh, there's been you know several questions regarding that. And uh, don't use an extension USB cable. Don't use an aftermarket power block. Uh, you know, do it exactly as it's stated. Use the cord and the supplied AC adapter directly into the wall or directly into an extension cord without, uh, you know, even using a, a surge protector or anything. That that you know, basically ensures that you have the proper power supplied to the unit. You're not going to deliver uh, too much re either resistance through a long cable or uh, too much amperage or voltage. Follow it right the way it says. So um, switching on and off, it uh, looks like you need to pull a tab here for the battery, which we've done before with the first unit. Um, connect your Mevo by scanning the QR code on the back. That's pretty easy. So you can just connect right there. And talks about all the indicators. Uh, shows you your battery charging, the radar status with the different lights, and then the connection status. So uh, technically, three sections of code come from the lights on the front of the Mevo Plus. First one is connection status. Either shows that it's off with no, no light, um, blue for ready, or green for connected. And then the next one is the actual radar status. Um, with nothing on, it's obviously off. And then you have blue, which is power on, switching on, flashing, and then blue-green, 
processor starting up usually takes about 30 to 60 seconds and then green standby mode red armed ready to measure and then if you have blue and orange the processor is shutting down and then your levels of battery so as far as placing the unit you use the supplied stand that's attached to the unit and uh, it's recommended that you're a minimum of seven feet behind the ball and uh, a maximum of, I want to say, or minimum, I should say, of eight feet of ball flight. And I can go through those details with you. And I've gone through them in some other videos. Primarily, I just wanted to show you this setup. So um, we obviously have our supplied power block and the cable we'll be using. You've got the needle plus itself. this side. You've got that battery tab that we were talking about. So you're just going to pull that out and that's going to separate and connect the battery. Sometimes this rubber just comes a little out of the slot. That's okay. All you've got to do there is just kind of push that back in and it's perfect. Okay. Here's that stand I was talking about. That way you can adjust the tilt. 12 degrees is recommended for simulation mode. QR code to scan and connect. Serial number is also located right here. You can see how it has the FS to start and then the M2. I was saying when you that password is just M2 dash and your numbers, um, all capital, it is case sensitive. Um, comes with your metallic stickers. Highly recommend these for indoor use. Um, in order to get the proper spin measurement, um, you're gonna need a metallic sticker on a quality ball, in my opinion. I know that you can use a, a less expensive ball, but from what uh, all my experiences are with, with any golf simulator, a quality ball makes a difference when you're actually reading the ball, such in this uh, scenario. Um, some people get away with it. With other units that might not be actually reading the ball, they're just reading that impact, um, but I strongly suggest using a quality golf ball. Uh, this, it actually allows you to put it over top of the unit and set up the angle, uh, you know, for simulation mode. But actually I find it easier. Uh, you can see how it, you can flip it this way and it sets it up for 18 degrees for like outdoor use. Um, or you can, you know, flip it the other way for 12 degrees for indoor use. I prefer using the built in, uh, adjustment that will display in FS golf. And I can actually show that to you. Um, it's just more precise. I mean, you can literally see it if it's 11.9 and get it to uh, 12 degrees. So um, as we've been doing the beta testing, I've been uh, beta testing 0.09. We have been uh, experimenting a little bit. I've been doing like 11.8 degrees um, with the putting, um, you know, testing different results. And that's obviously all being fine tuned. So um, you have a, a little uh, fiber cloth here for cleaning your unit or protecting your unit. You can easily wipe off the front. Uh, if you look in the instructions, it says like a mild soap and water to keep that clean and just care for the unit. So um, you can see it sits right back in there nice. You can even set this over top, um, you know, when you're transporting the unit, nice for protection. So um, we'll stop there for now and then we'll continue with the setup here in just a second. All right, so here we are with the Mevo Plus. After having it on the charger, gonna do a quick startup guide uh, that way everyone knows how to easily set the Mevo Plus up for your simulator. Uh, the first thing that I always do uh, is you're going to go ahead and turn it on. Go ahead and push that silver button on. Hold it just for a couple seconds there. You'll see it boot up. Goes through a series of beeps. Letting you hear them. There's another one. One more. There you go. So now you know it's all the way booted up. Now I'm just going to flip the unit over really quick. I'm going to open up the FS Golf app and I'm going to connect using, let's see if I can get some light in there, connect using the QR code join so it's going to connect to the radar as you can see I had to switch to a GoPro because I wanted to use my phone to show you guys how this works you can see it's connected 
And now this is what I like to do. You can use FS Golf at this time setting it up and hitting through FS Golf, but I'm setting up for a simulator. And the reason is because I'm going to adjust the tilt and it shows it right on my screen here. So now I can take it, I can place it where I always place it, right back here. All right, right against my wall is where I'm always at. And now I can adjust this. You can see the tilt's at 15.6. And I'm actually gonna bring that all the way up to 12. It's very sensitive. And do using this app, rather than your tool, you can get very precise. And because indoor putting, it needs to read the ball, sometimes I'll even let it sit at 11.9 right now, if I can't get it right on 12, like right there. And the reason I do that is, um, we're actually testing right now to see if that helps putting. Um, and then you can do target alignment. And then, You'll see where my alignment is right there, right in the center. And I actually usually do it a little bit closer to my T, so I can actually move this down this way and get it right there. And that kind of puts it in between where my driver is and where I hit my irons. And so now I've done that in the FS Golf app. I'm gonna check that tilt one more time. Sure enough, looks like it moved. So I'm just gonna bring that right to about 11.9. Look how sensitive that is. That's why I use the app. There we go, we'll just leave it on 11.9. Like I said, 12 or uh, 12 or 11.9 is what I would recommend. Um, the roll looks to be okay right now. You can even get that uh, you know, closer. Look, it's asking me to wake the radar closer to uh, zero if you want. So the radar is ready at this stage. And so now what I can do is I can go up to my computer that has the full-blown E6 and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect from Wi-Fi on my phone and I'm going to find the device on the Wi-Fi on my computer. There it is. It's gonna ask me for the password capital M 2-00 Two, five. Next. No. It's going to connect to the device. And I'm going to show you how when you boot up an E6, you'll be good to go now. There is a camera alignment inside of E6. Uh, it's not necessary. And you need to get that tilt proper anyway, so why not set it up inside the FS Golf app like that? and then be able to open up E6 and be ready to go. So that's my recommendation as far as that goes. So there we go, I'm uh, no internet obviously, and I'm secured. I'm connected through an ethernet cable on my uh, internet. And now I'm just going to open up E6. Let that boot up. Sorry, as I hold, I'm doing a, another freehand video here. There we go. Flight scope device connected. I can literally go on the practice range. And I took this thing right out of the box. Here we are minutes later. And if you have your key ready on E6, I'll just go to pitching wedge really quick, set the camera down. And that way you guys can just see it read a ball real quick. That way you know how easy it is to set up the Flight Scope Mevo Plus for simulation. I've already got my metallic dot on this ball. I haven't swung the club today, but that's all right. We're just going to hit a nice little light pitching wedge. There we go. Right out of the box, hitting on E6 in a matter of minutes. So. One, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more content to come. Uh, I will be releasing all kinds of different videos. More importantly, leave your comments below. Ask questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them or steer you in the right direction. And uh, if you've been considering Mevo Plus, look at the links right down in the description. I have some awesome partners that can get them to you for the best price. And uh, look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. 
Let me know down there in the comments. Thanks.